What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to do a quick video showing you guys the SS command. Okay, so this is a follow up video to the net stack command that I just previously did a video on. Uh, and it's used to analyze network statistics. Well, the SS command is pretty much the same command. It just gives more detail. It's a newer program that was added to Linux. And it gives you more information when you're looking at uh, network statistics in Linux. And so I want to show you guys how to actually use the command. I'm going to give you a few examples on how to actually use the command. I'm going to try to keep this video short. Uh, it's no need to show you guys how to install it because it's included in all distributions of Linux uh, as like a default application that's installed when you first install the operating system. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is show you guys the manual, and we all know how to do that. It's basically man, and then SS, and this will give us some information on it. It says, another utility to investigate sockets. So pretty much what it does is use to dump socket statistics. It allows, it allows showing information similar to NetStat, can display more TCP and state information than other tools. And here are a few of the options. Uh, I'll show you some of the ones that I use. And we get, you know, you can look through this and learn how to actually use it properly. I'm going to show you the way that I use it in order to get the information that I'm trying to look for. So let's get started. Let me quit this. Okay, and the first way we want to run the command is simply SS, and SS will give you uh, a listing of all connections. And the basic SS command without any options simply list all connections regardless of the state they are in. So let's run that right fast and press enter. And as you see, it gives out a lot of information. It shows all the statistics and let me go up to the top so we can break down each one of these columns okay and so uh, if we look at the first column is net ID and then the state uh, so that means establish uh, the receive queue is basically a count of any bytes not copied by the user program connected to this socket uh, and then the send this is the count of bytes not acknowledged by the remote host. So that's what that means. And then the local address as well as the port. And then we go the peer address and then the port as well and then the process. So that just breaks down each one of those columns. I just wanted to show it to you. Okay, and so the next way I typically run this command is using the A flag. Uh, so if we type SS and then dash A, now this will pull both listening and non-listening ports and you can tell by the status. And if we press enter on that, and as you can see it's uh, listen, listening, uh, established connections, and then unconnected connections. That's typically what it's adding to the list, uh, the unconnected connections. So that pulls more information it just basically pulls because by default it only pulls established connections or connections that are like in a waiting state it doesn't pull the non-listening ports um, or the unconnected uh, connections when actually running the ss command by itself so as well as the list the listening uh it typically only pulls established and uh like closed wait uh, when you run that SS command. So now another way to actually pull some more information is by looking at just the listening sockets only. Now you can use a flag is simply SS and then dash L. We press enter on that and it'll show just the listening and you'll see it by the status. Uh, some of them will say unconnected or just listening and that's typically what it will pull and also 
Oh yeah, and I went a little too high up, but as you can see, uh, unconnected, uh, listening, those are considered in that same category, so the unconnected and listening. So those are the two that would show up when you use that flag. And as you can see, also I forgot to say it, it also looks at UDP as well as TCP connections. So pretty simple. Now let's say we want to look at just TCP connections. Now one way to do that is simply we can combine it with the listening and the other option, which is T for TCP connections, similar to the nest that command. You simply run SS uh, dash L and T together and press enter. And that'll show just listening as well as only TCP ports. And as you can see, the uh, net ID is gone because we're only looking at TCP connections. So there's no need to create that column uh, where it shows the net ID which is, uh, it'll have TCP underneath it because um, we're only pulling TCP connections. So that's another way to run a command. And if we want to do UDP, then that flag is simply U. So we could press type uh, dash L and then U, and that'll pull only UDP connections. And like I said, there's no need to put it, uh, put that column in front because we are, we are flagging it to only pull UDP connection. So it's pretty simple. Okay. And another way we want to filter out, cause basically all we're doing is filtering really at this point. Um, I want to show you guys how to display only, uh, process IDs, uh, of sockets. So if we type SS and then space dash P, this will show us the process ID. Okay. And if we look at it, it actually puts the process ID in there. Uh, for instance, this is the Brave browser, which is the browser that I use currently. So I have a lot of tabs open uh, and we scroll through and look at some more. Let's see, GNOME, something dealing with GNOME, Polkit, I don't know what that is, uh, Dbus Demon. So pretty much it's just specifying the process ID. Like here we go, uh, Pulse Audio and then XFCE Panel. So basically that displays the process ID related to the socket connection. Okay. And so next I want to show you guys how to display a, a summary of the statistics, which this is, you know, pretty good to run. Uh, if you just quickly trying to get some information on the actual connection. So if we type SS and then dash S, this will give us a summary. And if we press enter on that, there we go. So raw connections total and the IP version six UDP TCP INET frag. So that gives you a summary of everything. So that's pretty cool. And then also I wanted to show you guys how to actually just specify where you only want to see IP version four or IP version six. Now you can run those commands simply by typing SS and then there's a number flag. So we could type four dash four. That'll get us the IP version four. And if we type six, uh, that'll give us our IP version six connections. So, and so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys on this command. It's a very sim simple command once you understand how to actually use it and how, how it can help you. So if you're interested in other networking commands, please stay tuned. I'll do some more videos on a few other commands that'll help you while trying to learn Linux and how the OS actually works. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And of course, keep it techie.